and Margarita Eagles took on the Tustin Tillers. Both teams came into this contest at 13-0. The Eagles were going for back-to-back -back championships. You're going to have to play your ass off tonight, all right, from start to finish. Their, their attitude is to walk around during the pregame, conserve their energy. They're going to walk in and out of the huddle. They're going to walk on and off the field. But don't be confused. When it's time to snap the football, they're going to take it up to another level. And we got to be ready. When the ball is ready, we got to be ready. On both sides of the ball and on special teams. So don't get lulled to sleep by the way they walk around and the way they approach the game. Because when it's time to rock, they're going to rock. And we're going to rock even more. A couple things I want to point out tonight. One, this group of guys right here, the seniors. These guys have gotten us here two years in a row, and they're going to win it for us this year. We're going to go back to back. We're going to win this damn thing. We're going 14 0. And this better be the greatest group of seniors I've ever been around. And I'll tell you what, if we get guys like this year in and year out, we'll never lose. Let's go! sides of the ball. On his first run of the game, Deshaun Foster got six yards. On his second run, he almost got a touchdown, getting knocked out of bounds. Otherwise, he could have been gone. The Tillers like to mix it up, and they did so in this play. Julius Williams gets outside before he's knocked out of bounds. Moments later, Foster gets it again. He cuts outside, does a little juke step, and then dives for a first down, down to the 25-yard line. First and 10 from the 25-yard line. Deshaun Foster behind a man in motion will go around the left side. He'll get outside and nobody will catch Foster as he dives into the end zone as the Tillers took a 6-0 lead. The capacity crowd at Cal State Fullerton were on their feet through most of the first quarter and definitely on that drive by the Tustin Tillers. The only bad thing that happened on the drive was the point after attempt. The Tillers lined up, but the Eagles came up and they blocked the point after attempt, which made the score six to nothing. The Tustin Tillers with 8.45 to go in the first quarter. The Eagles took over and Carson Palmer on the very first play of the game for him threw it out on the right side to Greg Orlando. Greg slipped one tackle and then he was brought down. From the 36 yard line, Palmer gets in trouble, gets flushed out of the pocket. He tried to die for a first down. It came up short. It made it fourth down and just inches to go. Palmer took it, went over the left side and gained three yards at it for a first and 10. From the 48 yard line, the Eagles go back to their passing game. Carson Palmer dropped back. He thought he had Michael Gorman over the middle, but the ball slipped out of his hands. On the very next play, Palmer once again drops back to pass. He finds Matt Brooks for a first down. The passing game started to click. Palmer, in trouble, finds John Minardi. John Minardi with a shoestring catch from the 25-yard line. One play later, Palmer dropped back to pass. On a perfectly timed pass, he gets Greg Orlando in the end zone, and this game was tied at six apiece. Nick Sparks added the point after attempt, 
and the Eagles led 7-6 with 4.09 left in the first quarter. On this play, Deshaun Foster uses that stiff arm to his advantage, throwing Matt Brooks right out of the way for a first down. But on the very next play, Matt Brooks would catch Deshaun Foster for about a two-yard loss. Coming in on the play is Jesse Wyatt, number 21. Wyatt gets up, celebrates a little bit too much, and he's penalized. The Tillers have a first down and 10. They fake it up the middle to Foster. They give it to Julius Williams on the outside, who gets all the way down to the 22-yard line. One play later, it was all Deshaun Foster. He fakes everybody out, including our camera operator, as he goes into the end zone for a second touchdown of the night. On the two-point conversion, Todd Scott will hold on to it, and he'll sneak into the corner of the end zone as the Tillers led it 14-7. A great play and a great drive. With 2.09 left in the first quarter, the Eagles took over. Palmer handed off to Brian Wolfsburger. If not for that shoestring tackle, Wolfsburger could have been gone. Two plays later, Palmer dropped back the pass, and he found Michael Gorman streaking down the middle part of the field, or Gorman gets into the end zone. Mike redeems himself from an earlier drop pass as the Eagles were down by one. Nick Sparks put the ball through for the point after attempt, and the game was tied at 14 apiece near the end of the first quarter. The fireworks started early as Deshaun Foster went outside, untouched, 31 yards down the sidelines for a touchdown. That was his third touchdown of the game. At that point in time, the Tillers led 20 to 14. Once again, the Tillers would go for two in the point after attempt, but Deshaun Foster was stopped going over the middle. And the Tillers led 20 to 14 with 11.53 to go in the first quarter. Carson Palmer dropped back to pass. Watch this big hit on Greg Orlando. Orlando was very slow to get up. And he finally does get up and trots off the field. Third and 10, Palmer dropped back to pass and he went to John Minardi. John steps in inside the field and he gets the first down. An 18-yard gain. One play later, Palmer back to Minardi. But this time, it goes out of bounds off the fingertips of John Minardi. The very next play, they decide to go down the middle. Minardi, streaking upfield, goes 45 yards for a touchdown. The Eagles tied the score at 20 apiece. The point after attack by Nick Sparks would be good as the Eagles would take the lead 21 to 20 here in the second quarter. With the Eagles having a one point lead, the Tillers of Tustin took over. Julius Williams takes this misdirection play and he goes 48 yards up the sidelines of the Tillers. He gets knocked out of bounds by Matt Brooks. Two plays later, they go for the same play. This time, the results are not the same. Julius Williams is stopped. One play later, it's fourth and nine, and it looks like Tustin is gonna go for it. But their quarterback drops back, becomes a punter, and Tustin decides to punt the ball away. John Minardi calls for the fair catch, and the Eagles take over on the 23-yard line. They waste little time in going back to their passing game. Minardi with a great move outside right here. He gets up the field, and then he is crushed right there by Deshaun Foster. Minardi gets up quickly, and then he feels the effect of that hit by Deshaun Foster. Giving Minardi a down off, Palmer hands off to Wolfsberger, who gets seven yards on the carry. On the very next play, Palmer dropped back to pass. He couldn't find anybody, and he is abruptly sacked by the defensive line of the Tustin Tillers. On third and 15, Carson Palmer 
throws right back to John Minardi. On a great move, he turns outside, hurdles one tackler, and then he gets thrown out of bounds. Minardi gets up quickly, but again, he starts to feel the effects of this football game. John Minardi playing both sides of the ball. This point in time, 21 to 20, first down and 10. Palmer drop back to pass. He finds O'Gorman. O'Gorman gets knocked out of bounds on the 22-yard line. Palmer gives it to Wolfsberger. He explodes up the middle of the Tustin Taylor's defense before being tackled by Foster. Keeping the drive going, Palmer finds Mike Curtis. Curtis gets down to the seven-yard line. Two plays later, on first and goal, Wolfsberger takes it up the middle and he dives across the goal line for a touchdown. The Eagles led it 27 to 20. Mick Sparks would add the point after attempt and that made it 28 to 20. Nearing the end of the first half after the Eagles had stopped the Tillers, Mick Sparks lined up for a 42 yard field goal and he made it. So at halftime, the score was the Eagles 31 and the Tustin Tillers 20. At halftime, the Eagles led it 31 to 20, and what a great first half of football it was. But this game was far from being over, and during the break, the coaching staff of the Eagles were hard at work preparing for the third and fourth quarter of play. Keep running a fake, okay, hard outside. Just we're gonna pull that one, okay? On second and short, I'm gonna call 35 or 34 key. And you ride him in there, suck that guy in, and get your ass going and get going, okay? You know what, yeah. what we gotta do, Wolf, is Jordan, you can't let this guy come inside. Okay. Fight your ass off. Get get him going. This guy, once he starts squeezing it, we're gonna run some keeps. But I still want you to hit it, hug this double team tight, okay? And you may want to move up a little too. Don't be afraid to move up. After offensive coordinator Tim O'Hara laid out the game plan for the Eagles' second half, head coach Jim Hardigan had these words to say to his Eagles. How bad do we want it? How bad do you want a championship? Show us in the second half. Let's go! The second quarter started off with Brian Wolfsberger going 25 yards before he's knocked out of bounds. On the very next play, the ball was intended for Greg Orlando. He tips it, it falls in the hands of Matt Brooks, and Matt Brooks tiptoes down the sidelines all the way to the 10 yard line. The Tillers hold on defense, forcing the Eagles to kick a field goal. From 27 yards out, Nick Sparks put it through. That made the score. Eagles 34, the Tustin Tillers 20. For Tustin, they went right back to their main man, Deshaun Foster. He gets the ball, and he goes six yards up before he's tackled. On the very next play, Deshaun Foster comes around. Watch how powerful he is as he goes down the sideline, stiff on before he's knocked out of bounds near the 27-yard line. Coach Myron Miller had a great game plan coming into the game, and this play proved it. They fake the handoff, and they go to Deshaun Foster across the middle with a pass. Foster, so powerful, so strong, stays on his feet all the way down to the 14-yard line. Deshaun, totally exhausted from going both ways throughout the game, was slow to get up. But one play later, it would be Deshaun Foster once again. For his fourth touchdown of the game, he goes in untouched for the score. Tustin went for the two-point conversion, but it failed, and that made the score 34 to 26. Palmer threw a great pass to Orlando, who made even a better catch. Orlando gets all the way up to the 22-yard line. Two plays later, it was Carson Palmer to John Minardi in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. With the point after attempt, the Eagles led by a score of 41 to 26. The Tillers started the fourth quarter mixing it up a bit. 
Foster and handed off to Julius Williams, but Julius could not get outside. Andrew Holstein came up to make a great play. The Eagles took over on downs, and then Carson Palmer decided to take this flea flicker all by himself. He goes 12 yards for a first down. On the very next play, Bryant Wolfsberger takes it all the way down to the one yard line before he is knocked out of bounds. That sets up this next touchdown. Carson Palmer decides to keep it himself and he goes into the end zone. The Eagles increase their lead with the point after attempt to 48 to 26 here in the fourth quarter. But oddly enough, the crowd started to file out, but there was still more football to come, and Deshaun Foster wasn't done yet. He took off on this 14-yard touchdown, basically untouched into the end zone. The Tillers went for the two-point conversion, and it was Scott to Williams, and this made the score 48 to 34. The scoring continued, and it continued for Santa Margarita. On their next series with a score of 48-34, Carson hit O'Gorman. He goes 35 yards before being knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. On the very next play, Carson Palmer drops back to pass. He hits O'Gorman in the end zone for the score. Nick Sparks added the point after attempt, and the score is 55 to 34 Eagles. But Deshaun Foster is not done yet. Watch this fantastic run as he cuts from the left all the way across the field, tiptoeing down the sidelines, and he almost gets into the end zone. Foster, totally exhausted, did get up to make another play. Three plays later, Foster goes in from one yard out. Deshaun Foster rushed for 377 yards and six touchdowns. The Tillers add the two-point conversion when Scott kept it and he got into the end zone. That made the score 55 to 42 the Eagles. With 116 left, the Tillers tried an onside kick, but the Eagles got the ball, and basically all they had to do was run out the clock. And they were the 1997 CIF champions for Division V football. Seniors are the team that got us here. The seniors are going to be a team that win this tonight. And I told my younger guys that we, if, if, if we continue to get seniors like this group, we're going to be tough to beat. So hats off to the senior group. I mean, phenomenal group of football. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate that. All right, let's get the celebration going here, Paul. Huh?
on. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Pirate. Take it easy. Thank you very much, Pirate.